It's not every day that you see an Emmy, but a documentary about Flint rappers with the help of some MSU professors made this possible. He was the first one on BET, you know, so, you know, um, Breed was like in the forefront of pushing the hip hop out of Flint. MC Breed was a Flint icon who inspired other artists like Bootleg and his group, the Dayton family, to dream big. He taught me a lot about recording and, you know, and mixing and mastering. He taught me a lot about the industry, the business side. His story inspired another Flint native, MSU professor Jerry Zeldez, to shed light on his inspirational story. Me, myself, I stepped out on faith. I put it in God's hands and I said that, you know, Maybe it'll do something, or maybe it'll, you know, at least it's going to tell people the story. And the Breed and Bootleg documentary did more than something. When I found out about the Emmy, I was super shocked. And I was like, the documentary won an Emmy? What? I, I didn't even know you could win Emmys for documentaries. The Breed and Bootleg team was and still is over the moon about this prestigious award. When I got my hands on it, I took it on a journey through the ghetto. And, uh, but they are more grateful for the opportunity to showcase the hard work of Breed and keep his name alive. It's going to make you cry. It's going to make you laugh. It's going to uh, make you upset. Uh, it's going to take you through a, you know, a range of emotions, but it's a beautiful, well-told story. The Breed and Bootleg team is still entering the documentary in multiple film festivals, and they're hoping that this Emmy is the first of many. In Lansing, I'm Asia Lawrence, Fox 47 News.